find any? Here, let's get a bucket. Up to their thighs in water, their feet twisting and turning in thick mud. Yakima Nation tribal members perform what looks like a special type of dance in the Toppenish Creek wetlands. Just wiggle your foot down and then take a step and it'll pop up. That's what I've been doing. What pops up and what tribal members are hunting for are the tasty roots of Wapato plants. Look at that, huh? A cultural tribal food that until recently had all but vanished from the Yakima Reservation in Washington. So it just feels like a connection to the land and, and ultimately a connection to my ancestors just because it's something that have, we've been doing since time immemorial. However, for 70 years, Yakima tribal members could not harvest Wapato on Toppenish Creek. Farmers had drained the wetlands for agriculture. But back in the 1990s, the Bonneville Power Administration helped the Yakima Nation purchase this 440-acre parcel as a wetland restoration project for fish and wildlife. And the results are incredible. Finally, I'm getting more and more. There's like four of them. It's like an Easter egg. Most never expected that now, after being gone for generations, native Wapato plants would finally return. It's just great that some of our traditional plants have just remained dormant, basically waiting for us to turn the land back to historical use. Yeah, what is it? Do you remember what it's called? Egg. Egg. <laughs> Say Wapato. The return of the Wapato has inspired both young and old. And I always remember coming here with my grandmother. And I know my grandma used to go out and forage in the water. And I thought it was interesting because I'm part of the Yakima Nation to learn about what our people used to do and they have not done in years. So that's yeah. one right there? And yeah, these are all <laughs> right there too. Once loosened from the muddy bottom, the bulbs of Wapato float to the surface and are peeled and eaten like a potato. A surprising ecological benefit from the restoration of this wetland. So what we've been doing is trying to develop this natural uh, plants, uh, the cultural values and so forth. That's, that's my job. Tribal elder Thank Johnson Maninik is proud of the Yakima Nation's work to restore the wetlands. He now hopes younger people seize the opportunity to learn about Wapato strengthening the Yakima tribe and its culture. Somewhere down the line, if you do something right, you accomplish a mission. And that's why I look at this, mission accomplished. <laughs>